All right, so we have another question um, that I thought was a nice follow-up to the last video because this question is also about prime factorization. And the question goes like this. If x and y are two different integers and the product 35xy is the square of an integer, which of the following could be equal to xy? And so here are our choices for xy. I'll write them over here. A could be, uh, xy could be 5, b 70, c 105, D, 140, and E, 350. So one of these is going to be xy, and 35xy uh, will be a perfect square. Now, before I get into the sort of mathy solution, I just want to point out that you can back solve this really easily. And by back solve, I mean you just take these answers, multiply each one by 35, and take the square root, see which one gives you a perfect square. But I want to talk about the mathematical concept of prime factorization and how that relates to perfect squares. So just as a reminder, when you have a perfect square, its prime factors will always come in pairs. And I'll link you to the video that I explain that a little more deeply, uh, maybe right over here somewhere. Yeah, we'll do that. And then let's talk now about how to make 35xy a perfect square. Well, first, figure out the prime factors of 35. They are 5 and 7. Right? Once you know that, you know that xy must contain a 5 and a 7, and anything else, any other prime factor in xy must come in a pair. Right? So let's, let's cross off a right away. If xy is 5, then we pair off this 5, but that 7 is still an orphan. Right? So that's not going to do anything for us. Let's do a prime factorization of 70 and see what happens. You can do 70, you have 2, and 35. And then you're going to have 5 and 7. Note that the 5 and the 7 here pair off nicely with the 5 and the 7 there, but you've got this orphan too. And so the answer can't be 70 because that's going to leave us with an orphan prime factor. So we cross off 70. And we're going to just go on down the list. We'll try C105. 105. 105, the prime factorization of 105. Let's take a 5 out of it. And we're left with 21. Hmm. Well, 21 is 3 and 7, and again, the 5 and the 7 here pair off nicely with the 5 and the 7 here, but we've got this orphan 3, and so that's not going to give us a perfect square. So, we get rid of 105. Bye-bye. Now, 140. If I do the prime factorization of 140, it looks like this. Take out 2, and you've got 70. Take out 2 again and you've got 35, and this is starting to look promising. Now you've got 5 and 7, and sure enough, the 2's that you have that are extra are paired off, and the 5 and the 7 pair off nicely with that 5 and 7, so you've got pairs of every prime factor. 35xy is going to be 2 squared times 5 squared times 7 squared. If you put that in your calculator, you'll figure out that that equals 4,900. And boy, lo and behold, that is the square of an integer. Cool, right?